I'm Janet, and I'm a retired visiting home nurse. Definitely, I am a hoarder, yes. <laughs> you can open the back doors, but you gotta squeeze through. I just walk through the laundry room, and then I walk across and go to the chair. My name is Beth, and I'm Janet's daughter. The inside of the house is absolutely dreadful. And I just can't believe that my mom lives like that. I haven't had heat for two or three years. But I, I don't have any problem with it because even in the coldest winter, I'm as warm as toast. <laughs> when my mom has to go to the bathroom, she walks out the back door and just goes outside there. I do not have an outhouse out there. I go to the bathroom on the side of the house where it's private. She has a hard time walking, and for her to try to climb over a mountain, obviously, you're going to have an accident if you can't make it. That's why I get those pads and wear them. My name is Keith, and I am Janet's second son. My mom feels comfortable in the mess that she lives in. If my sister wasn't driving this force, my mom would live like this the rest of her life. If my mom refused to clean up the house, I would absolutely have no choice but to call protective services. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. We are all here today to help Janet, who's facing a pretty serious crisis. My name is Corey Chalmers, and I'm an extreme hoarding cleanup specialist. Janet is an extreme hoarder. She's living in absolute squalor. I've actually seen homeless people live a cleaner lifestyle than her. Nobody ever came to my house. I'm used to having the house to myself. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. did no one come to your house, or did you not let anyone in your house? I didn't let anybody get in my house. That's what I thought. Well, guess what? <laughs> After today, you're going to have people in your house. <laughs> I haven't been to my mother's house since 1994. It's been about five years since I've been in the house. Below the top layer, I mean, everything was just filthy. I mean, we found stuff dating back to 1993. The last two feet was almost like wood pulp brick. And as you got closer to that chair, the thing has got a little bit denser and it got a little bit stickier. I'm getting more and more pissed when I'm in there. We could have six more people in there easy. Just pick another spot and just start digging down to the floor. Hi. Oh, it stinks. My brothers and sisters are losers for not coming out and contributing to this. I don't know if we can do this in two days. It's, uh, it's terrible in there. I would say the five trucks that we took to the dump probably weighed a total of about 7,500 to 10,000 pounds. Hey, what are you doing here? Mary? My name is Dr. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I specialize in OCD and compulsive hoarding. Beth mentioned that there was a split in the family. What are you doing here? You're not wow. welcome here. In walks her twin sister, Mary, and it was on. Where are you for your mother? Where have you been for your mother? You rotten piece of I didn't come to clean. Then why are you here? Because I'm glad Get the mom, hell out of here. Because I'm glad mom's getting help. You could care less because I'm illegal. She's not You mom. need to grow up. I don't want her here. That's she has never bad. been this here from your house. Stop. Stop. She's life. not worth arguing with. She's I'm never here. been here from my mother. You're only here because you want to fix this house up because mom's leaving it to you. Okay. okay. And you want the sure. money. You're only for mom for the Just money, Bob. Okay. You, you have no... When Mary walked into the house with a dog in her hands, 
I knew she was here just for show. Hang I didn't on one say second. a word hang to on. her. Hang she on came second. and attacked me. I came hang on, through. Hang on. The one thing that I want to say that I don't think you're aware of is that this house was hoarded up to here in trash. Your mom has no heat. She has no water. Hang on. She never hang told on. anybody that. I understand that. I'm not blaming you. How you doing, Janet? Uh, it's, uh, it, it can't be helped. They, 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 Have they always fought like this? She, she fights with everybody in the family. Hey. Mary does. Because I wanted what are you to, doing to say a prayer for stop, mom. Stop, oh, you're stop. so full of so We'll make our point. point. OK. We'll make our point. All right. Uh, Annie, in here it's been four days that we have had help. She wants to come on day four at the very last minute to Beth. go, hey, 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 hi, look at me. Beth. Don't you think I'm pretty? Beth. We all know that. Mom, I do love you. You know I do. OK. Listen, I understand me. what you're saying. Kills Beth. Everybody sees it. When was the last time you visited your mom here? Um. Probably about three, four years ago. My dad has begged her and begged her and said, let me send people in to do it, and she refused every time. Then you come okay, over here and okay, you throw it away okay, for her. Drop this. I don't want to drop it. I want you to live a healthy lifestyle. Well, I yeah, I know, but well, this one doesn't the, know how to tell the truth. Mary is just like her dad. She lies most of the time. Are you going to tell them how you locked us all in the basement at 12 hours a day crying for yeah, my dad? Yeah, yeah, Mary, that's right. Because dad's the only one that that's kept me right, safe. That's right, Mary. That's right. You know what? This is one of the most dysfunctional families that I've worked with. How I can, I, make how can I be you. saying that to you? Amongst themselves, they just can't get along for two seconds. Just like my okay. father. Negative, yeah. rotten, manipulative, yeah. and treats you're, my mother like sh where have Everybody. you been for the last four days? Okay. I tried to call you, you wouldn't answer. Ladies, 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 ladies stop, 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 stop. Okay, I think, no I, I, think I think I think that's a good idea. There's been so many different stories told. I don't know where the truth lies. Wow. We got to get Janet out here. Hey, Janet. What I would like to do is throw away all this food, whether it's expired or not. Because no, Because it's no. out here, and it's been in this gross garage. It's, it's not gross in the Listen, garage. this is common sense stuff. This is expired food. That's expired over common makeup. sense to a degree. Janet has a hard time letting go of food. Even if it's expired, has mouse droppings on it, it's filthy, gross, she wants to keep it. But I can't let you keep all this food that is literally sitting on the floor in here where rodents are running around. Can we just close the door on it? Just Say, throw hey. everything away. No, we're Go not ahead. throwing everything away, Mom. Okay. We're throwing away the food. Mom, this food it's is gonna unsanitary. Be... It, it is not good. unsanitary. It is. We're going to feel much better about this later, OK? All it's, brand it's tough no, right I'm never going to feel better about gonna... wasting stuff. Go ahead. We have all the stuff out, but it's still not habitable. Myself and Corey cannot sign this off until we have confirmation right. that she will not be returned to this house until there is running water, heat, a bed, um, oh, an there's ability. There's going to be much more than that, doctor. At this point, I'm not going to call APS on my mom. She's going to come and stay with me, and she'll be over here with me every day. It's going to take me about a week to paint the walls and do the repairs in the walls that need to be done. Now it's a house. But in a couple of weeks, it will be a home. If you come back in six months, this place is not going to be full. Despite how serious this hoard was, we made a lot of progress with the interference from the family, Janet slowing us down just a little bit here and there. We were able to get the whole house pretty much cleaned of all the clutter. Thank goodness for the children showing up. They pitched in both days and did a lot of work. I feel good about coming out here and doing a lot of work. But it was two days, and it doesn't make up for 17 years. I owe my mother a lot more than this. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click 
the links around me to watch more.